This is VOA News. I'm Marissa Melton. It's September 11th, 2019, 18 years since the worst terror attack on American soil. In New York City, where the World Trade Center's Twin Towers fell, friends and family read out the names of more than 2,000 people who died in the airplane attacks on Lower Manhattan. Near Washington, D.C., President Donald Trump spoke at a ceremony at the Pentagon where more than 100 people died. For every American who lived through that day, the September 11th attack is seared into our soul. It was a day filled with shock, horror, sorrow, and righteous fury. Vice President Mike Pence spoke in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where airplane passengers brought down a hijacked plane before it could reach its target. America was attacked on September the 11th. But America took the fight back to our enemies on that very same day. Not on some foreign battlefield, but right here. In the skies above these fields, where the heroes of Flight 93 were forged. In South Sudan, after meeting for three hours Wednesday, President Salva Kiir and the political opposition leader pledged to resolve all outstanding issues, holding up the formation of a unity government. The two leaders shook hands and posed for pictures outside the White House, the State House rather, but did not announce any new agreements. Last year's peace deal left a number of issues unresolved, such as security arrangements involving opposition and government forces. There are also questions over state boundaries. The country's information minister told reporters that both leaders are confident a unity government unity government will come together by the November 12th deadline. In the Bahamas, officials say 2,500 2, people are listing as missing more than a week after Hurricane Dorian ravaged the islands. This is VOA News. France is urging victims to come forward in, an, in a Jeffrey Epstein sex probe. AP correspondent Charles de Ledesma has more. French police are appealing for help into the disgraced financiers' alleged sexual exploitation of women and girls and say they've already interviewed three people who identify themselves as victims. The police appeal on Twitter provided both a phone number and an interior ministry email address for victims and witnesses to use. It said police specialists had been mobilised for the French probe, which opened on August 23. They're investigating the alleged rape of minors and other possible charges linked to the Epstein case. I'm Charles de Ledesma. Oxycontin maker Purdue Pharma has a tentative deal with about half the states and thousands of local governments suing the drug maker. AP correspondent Tim McGuire has that story. The pending agreement is said to include additional money from the Sackler family, which owns Purdue Pharma. Sources say some $12 billion will be distributed over time and the family will give up control of the company. About half the states and some 2,000 local governments involved in the litigation are on board, but some 10 other states are saying no. Connecticut Attorney General William Tong says in a statement that the scope of pain, death, and destruction, quote, that Purdue and the Sacklers have caused far exceeds anything that has been offered so far. The plaintiffs accused Purdue of aggressively selling OxyContin as a drug with low risk of addiction despite knowing it wasn't true. I'm Tim McGuire. British scientists say they found water for the first time in the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system. Researchers at University College London said Wednesday they found water vapor in the air of a planet that is 110 light years from Earth. The planet has temperatures suitable for life as we know it. The more than 4,000 exoplanets have so far been detected, but scientists say it's the only known exoplanet that has water, a rocky surface, and temperatures suitable for life. As we know it on Earth, the planet is twice the size of Earth and has eight times its mass. It's not clear whether there's water flowing on its surface or not. NASA scientists discovered the so-called super-Earth, also known as K2-18b, in 2015. It's an ideal distance from its sun to conceivably harbor life. President Trump said Wednesday he's considering five people for his new national security advisor after firing John Bolton on Tuesday. He did not provide any names. He said he expects to name Bolton's replacement next week. But Trump said he wished Bolton well, even as he dismissed him on Tuesday with a Twitter statement. Bolton said he resigned Monday night and was not fired. Earlier, an Iranian government spokesman said Bolton's dismissal could allow Trump to deal with Iran in what he called a less biased manner. I'm Marissa Melton, VOA News.